Uh, so hello everyone in this video I will be explaining the problem partial replacement so in this video first I will be explaining the uh, idea to solve this problem through an example and then I will be coding it so let's get into the pr problem so let's take this example uh, so what the problem is basically saying is that I have been given a string that consists of dots and stars okay so the, what I have to do is that uh, I have to convert these uh, also I have been given a number k so let's say in this case k is 3 I will explain what is happening okay so the statement that is given is that I have to convert these stars into x's so uh, and it is sure that I have to convert the first star and the last star into x and then I have to convert minimum stars into x such that the distance of the indexes so uh, indexes between any two stars is always less than uh, 3 okay uh, so uh, so let's say uh, for example if I decide to convert this star into X uh, then uh, the distance between these two stars uh, will be less than 3 okay and I have to minimize the number of conversions okay so one thing it can be that I can convert all the stars into excess then also the conditions will be satisfied but I have to optimize it okay so suppose if I convert this star into x then I, it is well and good uh, the minimum number of conversions required will be 3 but if I convert this star into x then you will see that the distance between this star and this star is more than k so that will not be a valid case and I will have to convert some other stars into x for example this or this so that in that case I will get the answer as 4 so that is not the optimum one so this is what I have to do so the approach to solve this problem is that I will first get the first star and the last stars location and then suppose this is k what I will do is that I will just go k steps ahead of this current star and then I will go back and as soon as I uh, meet a star I will make this star as a new starting point and then again go forward so it will be more clear uh, as I code it okay so let's begin the coding part so first thing first let me uh, I don't know how to increase the font I, I have not coded in VS code much but anyway I hope it will be visible in the video so let's make the let's take the input first so input will be int n k and then string s c in n k s so I have taken the input now what I will uh, do is that I said that my first approach is to uh, first step is to find the location of the starting star and the ending start so let's make two variables int ss is equal to 0 and int say es ss and es I don't need to like define them so let's make two variables ss and es so ss means the starting star and es means the ending star now what I will do is that I will find the location of the first star so for int i is equal to 0 i less than s dot size i plus plus and then I will say if s i is equal to star then in that case I will uh, what I will do is that I will say ss is equal to i I have got my starting star and then I will break from the for loop and similarly I will find the ending star so control c control v the ending star will be begin from s dot size minus one and uh, i have to change this condition i is greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus and don't worry uh, i will always get an answer because the question is framed such in such a way so in this also I, if i get my first star i will just break out of my uh, for loop and i will get the update my ending star okay so after I have calculated this what I will do is that I will write a uh, I will make a variable called int count so let's make this int conversions conversions is equal to 1 I will initialize it from 1 because uh, it, there is at least one star always exists uh, it is given in the question okay uh, and there is one more reason I will explain it when I have written the while loop that I am going to write so I will make another uh, variable called int i is equal to ss so i is basically mm, so I will be starting from uh, some position to explore uh, like how many conversions I need so I will start from starting star 
so so i will uh, just uh, explore this until i i reach the ending star so i will write a while loop so while start uh, so while i is less than what ending star so so the first thing i do that since in the beginning i will be at what i will be at the starting star so i will just uh, so i will write one if if condition uh, if si is equal to star okay then it means that okay this is a star and i will increase the count okay count plus plus then i will then i have to uh, sorry not count plus plus let's make this conversion back to count okay it's uh, smaller okay so now what i will do is that i have to look for the uh, next star so for next star what i will do is that since my k is 3 i will just go to uh, k steps ahead okay so k steps suppose if in this case there was a dot here and here was a star so i will just from this i will just go back okay so that i am always uh, like i am using the least number of conversions okay if i just go from here then my conversions will increase so that's why i will just go jump k steps ahead and from them then if i find a star then it is good this will be my new starting point and then from here i will go ahead but uh, in case there is a dot here uh, then i will just go back so I will make another variable called int ns is, ns is next star okay so next star will be minimum of what n minus 1 comma i plus k so you will be thinking that why i have written this statement as n minus 1 and i plus k i could have written ns is equal to i plus k this is because for example if you are at uh, this star uh, and now it's become a little messy so suppose if uh, i am at this star and my uh, what my string ends here so i plus k will uh, give me like it will take me out of the string so that is why i have written this minimum thing here so minimum of either the end of the string or i plus k whichever is minimum so now i will write another while loop so while s of ns is not equal to star so as long as uh, my next uh, that next string a letter of the string is not a star i will do ns minus minus that is i am going back step by step so after going uh, st after i exit this while loop once i find a star i will just update my i to ns okay so that's that will give me the result and you uh, i will just like to explain that why i wrote one here that is because see my i is I in my while loop my i is less than the ending star okay so in my count i am never considering the ending star so for example if uh, so imagine it like this suppose there was a string and uh, there was only one star in it okay so what would have happened there is that my uh, i would have never gone into this while loop because i should be less than ending star so that is why i have begun my count from one so now what i will do is that i will just print it c out count and l now that's pretty much done now let's test this run all hope if it is working compiling it may take a little bit of time so it is running okay so now let's submit it so you know if you like uh, my videos or uh, this way of explanation please consider liking the video and subscribing the channel and it will be a good motivation for me to continue making these videos uh, it takes a little bit of time submitting to code forces running mm. So, don't know why it is taking time. Code forces generally takes time.
so you know anyway it was taking a lot of time but i am telling you that i submitted this code accepted i just got the notification so so you have ex uh, so i have uh, okay so that the thing it is accepted so that's all so thank you and have a nice day bye